everybody, my name is Charlotte and welcome to Charlotte's Show. Today, I'll be bringing in two very special guests to talk about their publishing, their Kindle publishing. They might look very similar on the outside, but they're very different. We're gonna look at why one of them is a very successful publisher and the other one sucks ass. So without further ado, let's introduce our special guest today. We have Chad and Rasmus. Hey, my name's Chad. I'm 27 years old. Graduated from North Dakota University two years ago. Kappa Delta president. I've been publishing books for about one year now. I have 12 books, making about $500 per month. And I really just want to scale my publishing business so I can get rich as fuck. Hey, my name's Rasmus. I'm 24 years old. I've been publishing for a little over one year. Last month, I made over $10,000 from my publishing business with just 12 books. I plan to continue growing my publishing business for the next year, then using that money to invest into bigger and better businesses so that I can retire in my 30s. I've been getting a lot of fan mail recently, and all my viewers are talking about this new thing called audiobooks. So I thought I'd bring you guys onto the show. Uh, I have a few questions I want to ask you to see how you're doing. That's okay with you? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. So Chad, how would you describe your publishing style? Yeah, so Charlotte, that's a great question. Um, I like to think of my publishing style very similar to my hairstyle, oh. which is kind of careless and all over the place. Oh. Yeah. And, and that works? Um, I mean, 12 bucks, 500 bucks a month, not really. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'd like to make more money. Yeah. Because I'm fair. pretty broke. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. And what about you, Rasmus? Uh, I'd say my publishing style is more, I'm, I'm a lot of attention to detail, really. I basically dedicate my whole life to this, so really, I, yeah. it's like my baby, yeah. I, I spend a lot of time and effort into every single step, and it's, it's really worked for me so far, so I'm going to just keep doing that. Yeah. I like to stay as far away from my business as possible, spend, you know, I don't want to work 60 hours a week. Okay? Free time, like, right? There's a lot of girls okay. around here, True, I guess. you know, so yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so then, Chad, how do you find your keywords to publish in? Oh yeah, keywords. Keywords are super important. So, um, I really just like to publish books on, you know, things like keto, keto for beginners, keto cookbook, keto smoothies, keto meal plan. That's the new one that's, that I really like. Okay. Um, just, I really just like keto. How do you find those keywords? Just curious. Um, I just kind of talk to people in the community and like everyone else is doing it. So I figured I should be doing it too. Nice. So yeah. That's a good way of thinking. It's really smart. Yeah, no, I just don't really like thinking for myself. Yeah. So you know, all 12, it's a lot easier. All 12 books are about keto. Yeah, they're all about keto. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so I've tested a lot of different keywords in my publishing career. And I've just noticed that it's a really important step in the process. So the way I do it now is I go through the entire Amazon Kindle store. And I basically check every single category just to make sure that I don't miss anything and I focus on super high demand, but also not the same ones like keto that everyone else is already doing. There are a bunch of other high demand keywords and books out there that people are looking for but not everyone's talking about because then there's just too much competition, right? Is that um, time consuming? Yeah, it is. I spend about a week doing it, but it's worth it. Like, it's Makes part of the reasons why I'm making 10K a month. Broke keto. That's so good, yeah. So Chad, how do you come up with your book titles? Oh yeah, I'm really happy you brought that topic up because uh, book titles is actually one of my strong points. So I like to do, do this thing that, um, that I call keyword stuffing. It's basically where I find all the best keto keywords and I just throw it into my title. I really want to rank for as many keywords as possible. So, you know, keto, ketogenic, keto diet, ketogenic diet. So, I mean, can I show the audience one of my books? I'm really curious can I do to do that. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm talking about. Oh. So yeah, this one's not selling so hot, but the, the title's on point, so it can't be that. Um, that's really what it is. Mm, so yeah, keyword yeah. stuffing yeah. is what I like to do. The title's on point though. Thank you. Very, okay, that's, that's a really interesting approach. I've never heard of that. Thank Raz you. Rasmus, what do you do? Uh, yeah, I definitely don't keyword stuff. Like, oh. that's a fact. Whoa. I've realized that that's honestly a really stupid way of doing it because the books like why would anyone buy a keyword stuff book? Clearly, the books are just made from an idiot. People need to be able to find the books. Yeah, but you're just putting you it out of rank. You're not providing any value actually. Why would they buy a book just called Keto Diet? 
that's what the book's about. But what's the reason for buying it? Yeah, so when I make SEO. my... SEO. Yeah, well, no. When I make my titles, I put keywords in there so they know what the book is about. But I basically use it as an opportunity to sell the book to them so that they know what they're getting when they buy it and really giving them a reason to buy. And it's honestly something that I spend, I'll spend hours formulating the best title just because it's so important like that. I can make a book title in like 10 minutes. Yeah, I bet you bet you can. Yeah, yeah oh, sure. Okay. Um, so Chad, we saw one of your book covers. So I guess, how do you get your book cover oh, made? Oh yeah, yeah, no, this, yeah, no, book covers for sure. So uh, I like to use Fiverr. Fiverr, you can get uh, book covers made for five dollars, and I'll just go on there. You know, I'll find the first result. I can make a book cover for you. I'll click on them, uh, and then I'll just tell them keto diet and give them an author, and then they just make it for me. And then when I get it back, boom, I have my book cover. What if what if they just choose like really like? No, they're professionals. The sucks. No, they're professionals. Really? Yeah, they're good. Yeah. So I like that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I've. Yeah, I've worked with Fiverr. I use Fiverr as well. Yeah, yeah. But I, I've tested a lot of different ones, mm -hmm. and like I found my favorite one now that I use. They charge a little more than five bucks, just because the five dollar ones don't really give you that good quality, to be honest. So I will pay about fifteen bucks for my book wow. covers. Okay. Um, I tell them like I show them the stock image I want. Mm -hmm. I give them like what colors I want. And then I give them examples of like other t other covers in my niche that I really like, mm -hmm. and then they'll design it. I'll get it back. And like then I'll usually tell them to make some tweaks here and there because like, I mean I'm really picky about it, mm -hmm. right? It's basically hmm. your like sales pitch. It's yeah. your it's your poster for your book. Mm -hmm. So like it's your the baby. first impression exactly. Baby. It's the first impression everyone's gonna have. So mm -hmm. that sounds time consuming. Yeah, I mean it kind of is, but I'm also making 10k months. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Next question. Um. So Chad, how do you write your book outline? Sorry, book outline. A book outline. Book outline. Will mm -hmm. you give to your writer? So they know what your book's about. Book outline. Who's that? Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess you right. can explain Rasmus? it. Oh. Yeah. What's a book? Okay. That's all, like real quick. Book outline. We give to your writer so they know what to write your book about. So, the research, so okay. You tell them everything. So I'm hiring someone to write my book for me, but uh -huh. I'm writing it first. <laughs> yeah, but you're not writing. That it. doesn't seem to make much. No, sense. Just well, they have to know what to write, or else it's just gonna be trash. So you just give That's them. That's their the, job. You just give them no, a book title. Yeah, book That's title. It. Yeah, keto diet for beginners. <laughs> and that works. Go. Yeah. And that works. Well, they write. Okay. Uh, okay. Interesting. All coach. right. Well, no wow, wonder I you're guess. You're really hands off. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I like to stay it's passive. It's don't passive don't work in your business. Don't work on your. Don't work <laughs> on your business. <laughs> Look at your business. Go have sex with women. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I really like your mentality. Thank yeah. you, thank you. And the enthusiasm, yeah. I, yeah. I appreciate. That it. That must take forever, writing your book and then paying someone to well write your book. It's again. just a book outline. So I mean, I do all the research. Seems really pointless. No, no, it's not. I'm right. making 10k a month, so. Yeah. Well, how much are you making? Yeah. Okay. So I write my book outlines. And I do all the research, and I basically look in the table of contents of the other best selling books in my niche so that I kind of know um, what the audience wants. And I'll look at reviews of those books mm -hmm. as well, just yeah. to take what they like, what they don't like. I take all those things really so I can formulate literally a book that's just the best it possibly can be and provide the most value. So I do all the research for the writers so they can just focus on the writing because that's what they're best at. Amazing. But I'm really the researcher for the book. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's working. It's working really well. I so. love how dedicated you are to your craft. Yeah, thank really. you. It's my life. That's, that's inspiring. Mm -hmm. um, all right, next question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how do you go about editing your books, Chad? Again, editing my books. Well, the writer writes the book for me, and then they deliver it, and now I have the book. You need to publish it. Yeah. Well, I get my book cover. I call my book title, description, um, and then then I publish it. Yeah. I what if there them. what if there are mistakes in the book? What if it's like, what if it's like copy and pasted from someone on the internet? Or some it's like not good. It's not valuable. Well, I already paid the writer. That doesn't mean the book's gonna be good. But they're ghost writers. So what? The books the book might be bad. They don't really care. They just want to give you the book so they can get paid. You don't even read it before you publish it. No, but. <laughs> I feel a lot of heat on me right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, I'm just asking questions. Like, like no. you don't have to get so fucking defensive. No, uh, 
I, I don't really edit them. Okay, no. all right. I mean, when I get not a reader, I'm a publisher. Yeah, sure. Cool. Not an editor. Cool, bro. Work out of the business. Yeah, not in sick. <laughs> when I get my books back, I I read the whole thing, proofread, edit, and if there's something I don't like, I give it back to the writer because I'm really, really meticulous with this. Like, if there's something that I don't like about it, I let the writer know so they can rewrite it. Because all I care about, really, in the end, is providing value to the reader. That's really what it takes. If it's just some trash shit book, who cares? Obviously, I'm gonna make five hundred dollars a month. Obviously, that's right. Five hundred. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's ask Rasmus first. How do you write your book description? Um, well, I there's actually this course I took about uh, book description writing, and yeah, I mean, I spent about two weeks learning the art of writing book descriptions. Uh, so now I write them all myself. <laughs> it's just a very uh, very effective way of writing them. Sometimes I also outsourced to a professional, but it's something that I spend a lot of time on. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. I, I feel like I know. How. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm sorry writes it for I'm, you. It, well, I'm definitely really good at paragraph. book descriptions. Yeah. Well, come on, okay. let me talk, all right? Um, so, yeah, sometimes I'll ask my professional ghostwriter who wrote the entire book. They, would, they know what the whole book is about. So, um, what better place to get your book description written than from the writer himself? Yeah. So, I just ask them, hey, can you just write a description and literally within like five to ten minutes they'll just write something up real quick send it to me and that's my book description I mean it's your sales pitch for your book yeah like this is the writer knows about my book yeah they know it best sure. yeah yeah I didn't read it yeah you're right you didn't <laughs> okay next question so yeah definitely a great book description yeah I also sick. don't like the format sick but <laughs> all right. um, and then our, our last question um, Chad, how do you use how do you utilize email marketing in your publishing business? Um, so yeah, no, I definitely uh, I feel like I have a strong take on email marketing and business. So email marketing was really big and popular in the '90s. We're currently in the 21st century, no longer the 1990s. So it's t it's super outdated. It doesn't really work for businesses anymore. Um, yeah, no. So it, it's it's a big waste of time. Have so you any, tried it? Have you tried it? Uh, no, but. Email. I just know email is old. Yeah. 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 So what I don't do, use it. What do you use instead of email? Oh no, I, I just kind of publish, and oh. then I go, okay. and I and I just leave. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I built an entire email list for my my books. It's a whole brand, and when people read my book, they can get mm -hmm. an opportunity to get uh, a free, you know value pack leak magnet if you want to call it that mm -hmm. you can join my email list and then they can also find all of my other books that way and i also urge them to get reviews mm -hmm. and it just it feeds itself and all the other books uh, as well it just elevates my entire publishing business remind me to jump on that email list yeah i i would recommend really it. excited no, it's kind of yeah. a waste of time Ka i have a question for you yeah how come you think you're only making 500 bucks a month and i'm making 10k and like but your titles are on point, so like yeah, why? no, it's What's not my reason? titles. Yeah, why is it? That? Um, I th so that uh, the Amazon algorithm's been a little off recently. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna get into to ads yeah. soon. Yeah. I haven't been doing that, yeah. but um, my I mean I have a lot of reviews on my books. Yeah, like good reviews. Um, you know, I mean it's it's feedback. Yeah. I view as. <laughs> I just be as constructive criticism. Yeah. You know. I mean, that's um, not a bad. But way yeah, to look at. no. I I just, you know, I just, a little rough around the edges some places. But yeah. if I just refine the process, put out a few more books, I'll be at 10k a month very soon. Really? Yeah. No, definitely. I'm wondering after this interview, are you gonna do anything differently? What did you learn considering I'm making 10k a month? I've learned that. And you're not doing anything. Yeah, I've wondering. learned that you waste a lot of time in your publishing business. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You do. Yeah. You realize that, right? You're wasting yeah, a lot of time. Yeah, sure, sure. You can do things way faster. Like, see, I'm such a good publisher, I don't even think. Really? I just kind of do things, publish it. That's impressive. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. So, that's that's how I like yeah. to publish. You're a really good role model for people. Yeah, yeah. no, I agree. Yeah, I agree yeah. too. Passive income. Yeah, I'm not being sarcastic at all. You're, you're great. Passive income, I know, yeah. exactly. Okay. I'm, I mean, cool. it's not really passive income because they're not really make No, I don't yeah. work very much. I kind of just yeah. you have to I make work, income to make passive income. I think income you're in the first spending place. more with your books than yeah. you're, you're making. I mean, yeah. um yeah. Yeah, you, you get what she's saying, right? Mm. Um, not a bad point, right? 
I don't see where this is going. I feel like you guys are ganging no, no, up no, on no. me a little bit right I now. Don't, I don't, want yeah. to I don't know what this is. I thought this was just going to be an interview. Yeah, yeah no, it, it is just an interview. I, I really appreciate you guys taking your time yeah. and coming in today. Yeah, Chad, I, I love the enthusiasm. I, I, I love the approach, you okay. know. You can you. maybe fine tune some things, but it's great. It so works said, for you. You're happy. You. Well, it does right. work for me, but yeah. Yeah. I, but let's just yeah. It's fine. That's right. He's, he's a little. Yeah. Rasmus, I love everything you said. I love everything you said. Um, for yeah. Yeah, sure. Yes, yes oh, oh. Stop. Oh, okay, that's really Stop. inappropriate. Stop. This is a fuck. Thank you. Yeah, Thank that's you. an interview. Yeah. Um. Anyways, for all my viewers out there, I just want to say. Chad is great, but Rasmus's, you know, approach and the things that he taught us today is really what I think and I know is the right way to publish. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you, gentlemen, for coming in today. Thank you, Charlotte. I've learned yeah. a lot. Thank you. I've learned a lot and You're I think I so actually I. might start my own publishing business. Thank yeah. you. That's what yeah. I, I just want to inspire people no, no, yeah. I think to it's start great. as well. You know, I love the hard work, the dedication, yeah. and I see Definitely. that it's paying off. Yeah. You know, it's changed I, my I life. I believe in that. Uh -huh. yeah. I really believe in that. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Okay, everybody, that was today's episode of Charlotte's Show. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned a lot. Please, please ignore everything Chad said and listen to Rasmus. It has been a pleasure to have you all today. All right, see you next time. Kaboom! Thank you guys for sticking to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Charlotte's Show. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, show me some love, and the magic emoji for today is the pink flag. <laughs> All right guys, see you in the next video. Can you, can you, draw, can you draw your face so I don't feel like I'm actually looking at you? <laughs> Massive tips. Yeah, that work. Yeah, we're talking to you. Okay. okay. I like to do this thing that I call keyword stuffing. It's basically just where I find all the best keto keywords and I just spam it. <laughs> 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 I like to do this thing that I call uh, keyword stuffing. It's where I put a bunch of keywords in my titles so that I can rank for them so that everyone can find my <laughs> my keto books. So. Um, like, <laughs> oh yeah, so book titles is definitely something that's uh, one of my strong points, so I like to do this thing. <laughs> uh, my fault. That is your fault. <laughs> so when I do keyword research, that's really like the most important. Yeah, I can't, I can't do this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Google fuck SEO. Amazon. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm Jeff, oh, fuck okay, you. Okay, okay, let's <laughs> I'll be like, here's an example of one of my books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this one's not doing so hot. <laughs> it's like, really but it has a great title, so. <laughs> yeah. I really just want to scale my publishing business so I can get rich as fuck. <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> <laughs>